All right, everyone, this is a complex issue, so don't crucify me for anything that I'm saying until you've actually heard it all. Uh, because even some people are like, you know, I don't know, minarchist or whatever. They're like, well, sticks are supporting big government. And that's not what I was doing. Uh, this was on Twitter, you know, yesterday night. So I'm just going to try to flesh this out. The too long didn't read version is Sean King. Apparently someone made an anonymous tip about like child abuse or something. And then a CPS worker showed up, wanted to like talk to him and then interview his kids. And he took to Twitter and very angrily and he's like, well, this is a false report. By the way, I'm not letting the, the NYPD or the CPS or anyone talk to my kids, period. That was a mistake, by the way, uh, airing that grievance in public and declaring, you know, literally, and he even alluded to this link in the description, to, to being willing to break the law, not the greatest way to ensure that this situation doesn't metastasize. First and foremost, when someone makes like an anonymous tip of a crime and there's no actual crime, they should be severely punished for that. If, if this claim is indeed false, uh, then he should definitely sue for the information of who made it. Like, you know, they can trace the call or the email or whatever they got. It's easy enough to do. It's not that hard. He should sue. Yeah, uh, sue them into prison and take all of their money because, you know, that sort of thing needs to be much more severely punished. It's like when people do swatting and stuff. They should go to prison for 10, 20 years for doing that. It should be no joke. It, sh it shouldn't even be a class A misdemeanor. It should be a total felony. It should be, hey, we're going to throw you in a cell for 10 years because you're, ter you're essentially engaged in terrorism when you're doing that. However, here's the other part. Under the current legal establishment of New York and I believe every other state, CPS does indeed have the right to go and interview his kids. He does not have the right to refuse, and they should probably look into the fact that he's expressing a willingness to do so. Simply for that, the original claim is like, that's one thing, but for him to take to Twitter and say those things is a totally different. And I'd say this as well. The other element, and this is what I was really focused on, is the fucking hypocrisy. The fucking hypocrisy that we're seeing from some of these people is, is palpable. Here you have a person who's like, yeah, if you get an anonymous tip that someone's like, you know, not necessarily all with it, and they might have violent tendencies, yeah, they should be totally disarmed. Send the cops over, they should bust down their door and wrangle them to the ground and take all their weapons without any re uh, compensation at all, because, you know, fuck the Second Amendment. Hey, privacy, well, you don't, you know, you don't get privacy or your First Amendment rights because you're offensive. You said something I don't like. Big government is great. Just a week ago, he was talking about how great the FBI and CIA were. Intel agencies, law enforcement, oh, they're wonderful people. Now he's sitting there saying, essentially threatening the New York police. It's basically what it boils down to. Hey, I'm not going to allow you to carry out what currently established is your legal right under the law. And in fact, it's not even a right. It's not, hey, CPS has the right to come interview your kids. It's a responsibility. They have no choice. Literally, if they get a tip about child abuse, they don't even have a choice. They don't have discretion. When Sean King comes out and says, well, my children aren't being abused. This is someone playing a prank in very poor taste. By the way, I want their, their info because I'm going to fucking sue them in court. Sorry, but CPS doesn't get even to make that decision. And for you to then ream whoever came to your door, they're not having a choice. They're, they're just some workaday fucker that comes to your door because they're told to. Now then, with regards to CPS as an entity, yeah, they're overburdensome. Yeah, they have too much power. Yeah, it violates the Fourth Amendment on multiple levels. The fundamental thing, though, is CPS as an idea, broadly, <laughs> broadly and in a constrained sense, is not only good but necessary. The concept that, yes, you have child abuse, therefore you need some sort of way to make sure that children are taken care of, they're not being starved, they're not being beaten with a bullwhip every day, they're not being sexually abused or whatever, that's a good thing. The problem is, of course, it's essentially a warrantless and odd process that we use. Yeah, I would agree with you. But the thing is, Sean King's not a reformer on these issues. He believes in big government. He doesn't want the cops to have to get a warrant to take your guns. He doesn't want, they want uh, uh, tech firms not to censor people. He doesn't give a shit about the Constitution. He's a, he's a mega rich, uh, hyper liberal individual. He, so what the fuck? Well, don't you see the irony in this, Sean? Uh, that's what I would tell him. Yeah, if I had him for five minutes to talk to him, I'd be like, don't you understand why even a lot of people that are sort of the center left or whatever, they kind of maybe don't like, don't like you that much, but they don't have a problem with you. Don't you see how what you're saying here is totally ironic? I love the government, but the government's fucking with me. Oh my God. You know, that's why libertarians exist, Sean. It's people like me who are defending people like you begrudgingly in some cases because you're constantly trying to abuse us. So here I am saying, well, yeah, Sean King should absolutely sue whoever made this tip. 
unacceptable regardless of the circumstances. But then there's the other possibility. What if he's just a self-righteous ass and the tip is true? And he's basically trying to whip people up into a frenzy to like shield himself from legal repercussion. How am I supposed to know whether that's the case? That's why CPS will come and do the interview and they don't have a choice in regards to discretion. She, he's like on Twitter, he's like, well, do you know anything about me? Do you know who I am? It shouldn't matter who you are. That's the whole point. It shouldn't matter whether the tip involves someone who's, you know, they, they work, you guys, they're fucking poor. They live in a trailer or something or whether they live in a penthouse. Otherwise, the system doesn't work anymore. You know, it needs desperate reform, but insofar as that is the law of the land currently, if you don't like it, work to change it. You're always trying to change gun laws, you know, mostly for the worse. You're always trying to change free speech laws to, we need to denounce and ban hate speech and to platform people from any, and they should not be able to even in, indulge in banking if they have wrong think opinions. Well, there you go. Again, those who, you know, if, if you establish yourself as an authoritarian, don't fucking complain when authoritarianism fucks you up too. The jackboot doesn't care who it's st uh, stomping on, Sean. It never has. That's why some of us, we, you know, at first I was like maybe kind of conservative. Then I moved to, I considered myself a liberal because Bush sucked so badly. Obama fucks up, so I, I just went towards being an independent and a libertarian, which is what I am now. I believe in limited government. Republicans don't deliver it. Democrats don't deliver it. Fuck them all for the most part. You know, I'll side with the MAGA populists on a host of issues for pragmatic purposes, but even that's not perfect. Sean King's stuck in liberal la-la land. He's like, well, BLM is wonderful. You know, they're arguing for socialism. Like, so yeah, in a socialist country with hefty central planning, I'm sure that this situation would be much ameliorated. No, it wouldn't. Because some politician would say, hey, there's child abuse. I'm, I'm going to start hanging child abusers. And then they would get in there and then they would expand CPS even more. And pretty soon CPS would be carrying firearms wherever they go. Would you want a country like that now that you've had your first run in with these people? So argue for actual reform, constrained government, a, war, a warranted process before people uh, come and talk to your kids. Then there was someone there, they're like, well, there have been cases where someone had dirty dishes and got their kids taken away. I, I doubt in some cases that that's true. There are legal safeguards in the process, but it is draconian. But for Sean King to be the one to complain about it, it's like, come on. You're not going to get taken seriously. You don't get to complain about issues that you yourself helped to cause by endorsing a big, heavy, bloated state. If you support that, whether you're right wing, you're left wing, it doesn't matter. You don't get to complain. It's like hearing some so-called fiscal conservative complain about, well, uh, you know, the, the budget deficit or something. And then it's like they don't have a problem with the current tax rate. They're like, yeah, it's fine the way it is. After 20 different steps of it being, you know, increased and standardized over time, but now it's a perfect system. I don't want to touch it because I'll get scared. And it's really funny and it's really hypocritical. If you're a big spender, don't be surprised when the government spends it killing people, like some fiscal liberal. Uh, if you believe in big government, don't complain when the jackboot comes down on your fucking toes and steps on them, because it will. All foul things will come forth when it comes to statism and Sean King, hopefully he'll learn his lesson. I don't think he will because a lot of his fans would stop giving him money probably. But uh, yeah, if, if he has any sanity at all, he'll become a libertarian because of this. That's about all. Peace out.